I decided I'm gonna give this game a shot. It looked like it would be fun and interesting to do. It is called 60 Seconds. 60 Seconds. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all it is entailed, but apparently you're trying to survive a nuclear blast. But it looked like it would be hilarious. Um, it's not a quite a horror game. There was a couple I was thinking of playing, but I was like, you know, I want to give this game a shot because it looked funny. Now, I haven't seen any gameplay of this game at all, and I always try to choose games that I've never seen anything about, unless it's something I really want to play. But this, I haven't seen anything. But, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Just trying to get all of my stuff going. Hopefully it is good. Do, do, do. Why are you telling me my thing's not working? Yeah, it's working. It's working. I don't know what you're talking about. It's working. Sappin, how you doing? Welcome back. Alright, alright, alright. So all of that should be working. That's good. Alright, so I'm gonna give this game. Sorry, I got sidetracked with uh it was trying to tell me my sound alerts weren't working, but they were working just fine, so I don't know what it was doing. So we're gonna try this game. Um we're what do you wanna do on this lovely radioactive day? We're going to go with Classic because I don't know how to play it. Yes, new game. It's called 60 Seconds. Oh, it's like the type of atomic adventure. A drill, apocalypse, scavenger survival. I guess we're just going to... Hmm. I'll just start with the first one. We'll go with the drill. Alright, learn all about how to scavenge and survive in the event of nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. <laughs> Oh, let's begin. Do, do, do. Oh. Okay, so drag to the left side of the screen to walk, tap anywhere to pick up highlighted objects, swipe screen to rotate. Okay, okay. Pretty straightforward. Welcome to your atomic scavenge drill. Pay attention and you might just make it. Wham. No time to waste. Get moving. It's a marked point in front of you. Marked point. Well, this is like weird. Good job. There might just be hope for you. Let's keep those legs moving. Alright. Move to the next yellow X. Can I? Come on. <laughs> you better be in good shape. This, there's more where that came from. I'm just <laughs> I'm like running and everything. Find Timmy. All right, where's Timmy? Timmy's in here. Good thing you know the layout of your. I didn't get to read that. Family comes to grab Timmy. He was the first. Get... Okay, I had to face him. I just like snatched him up. Hey, you. Oh. Soup can. Oh. Soup can. Soup can. Trash can, move out of my way. I got some soup can. Family of four for a day. Water bottle. Oh. Where's. There's the water. Give me the water bottle. Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Alright, 
All right, you can only carry so much, and you need to drop or whatever you're carrying a hatch. Oh, I gotta go drop it. Okay. Oh my gosh, these controls are terrible. Get get out the door. All right, where's where's the hatch? Is this the hatch? No, the hatch is out. No, that's a car. Oh, there's the hatch. Oh my lord. Your controls are terrible. There we go. Alright, so... No one knows how long you've stayed down there, so I'll need a radio. Why are my dogs barking? I love how my dogs just randomly bark. Alright, need that. Just throw it down there. Alright, now I've got a timer. Come here. Get, get your butt in the door! Come here, wife. Come here, wife. Got you. Water bottle. Get out of my way! Throw that stuff. Grab that. Grab that. We need some entertainment. We'll grab that. Gun. Yes, give me that. Some food. No room. Come on, move. Give me the stuff. Water. Food. 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 Got food. Oh, my time's up. Alright, so I need, I know how to get my, blah. I'll see you downstairs for survival training. At ease. Okay. Just jump in. God, these controls are so wonky. Day one. We look so happy. We got food, we got water, we got a gun, you got a game. What's this? Day one. You made it to the shelter. Congratulations. But the drill's not over yet. You'll end up you'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you. Nothing else. You need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants when you when your survival journal is not opened yet or hidden. First things first, we must ration food and water. If you don't wine and dine yourself and the folks you've brought with you, you can bet your bottom dollar none of you will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to a given person by selecting the picture of a can or a bottle of water, their portrait, or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to food... The longer you deny your people rations, the weaker they will get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it will take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. So, time to ration supplies. Okay. Since it's your first day down here, you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy, say, occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow. Nighty night. Okay. Good morning, survivalists. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No? Well, better get used to it since you'll be staying here for a while. We'll start today's activities with rationing since you need to do it every day, but after that, we'll move on to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen. There's a risk you will run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical for your survival. If they're gone, you will be gone sooner than you can say, corn dog. Sometimes you will need to send people to the surface to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful, though. Tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Today, we will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? 
Like good scout he is, Timmy is making the best of this situation. He even seems cheerful. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Time to ration supplies. Oh, I have to click on them to ration it. I didn't give them any supplies yesterday. Oops. Sending people out into the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it early or without a gas. Do it too early or without a gas mask, then you can bet it's a suicide mission for them. Sending send healthy and well-fed people. Sick, hurt, or crazed people are more likely to perish out there. You can send one person at a time. Let's give it a try. This time you will need to send someone out. But if you ever want to skip a trip to the surface, don't select anyone. Um. We're going to send out the Boy Scout. Why not? Day three. Oh no. This is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a little while, but in an event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that will test you to the limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best men's moral spine. We'll see what clay you're made of. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? There isn't anything new bothering Mary. I'm gonna plug my phone back in so it doesn't... There we go. Uh, anything new bothering Mary Jane? Timmy went out... I called him Tommy earlier. <laughs> Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we will do if he doesn't come back. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to a crappy place. Time to ration supplies. I'm an army man, so I don't know a second thing. A uh, second thing about imagination, but you could probably use yours now. Picture this scenario: you come across your kid's hamster, who is some bizarre way found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it, and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? No, I'm not cooking the hamster, no. I got a map. Got a suitcase. Okay. Okay. Day four. Good choice. The little furry guy can stay and fatten up. It'll make a bigger meal in a few days, and maybe your only source of food if you run out of cans. <laughs> Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin sized shelter? Everything seems okay with Dolores. Ted is fine. Time to ration supplies. Well, Timmy better come back with some food and water. You might be faced with decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might feel you don't have the one item that was supposed to save the day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to a radio, or maybe play shadow bunnies using your flashlight. I don't have a flashlight. I didn't know there was a flashlight. We're gonna listen to the radio. Let's not mess around with the gun. Oh, he's back and he's all bruised and battered. Alright. Hang on, no. Go back, go back. Hungry, hurt, tired. Mary Jane, Ted, Dolores. The radio is critical to establishing communications with the U.S. Army, as well as for listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. If you get lucky, maybe you'll catch some music, too. Good news, everyone! The expedition, the expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies, sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time, your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the proper use of a first aid kit. You can only use one during rationing. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We never liked people who boarded long-distance buses with baggage full of food, especially the kind that smelled bad. 
But in our current situation, we'll be more than happy to find suitcases filled with canned soup or even some smelly cheese. Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of them were matched for us, so we just took all the water bottles. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine. She looks fine today. Timmy, she eats something. Timmy got hurt. Timmy's really tired. Today is relatively calm for Dolores. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new, anyway. So, we're gonna give him a med kit and ration, ration, ration. You need at least one adult alive to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to someone else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. This was a very busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great and have a chance at getting out of this foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. So basically, I'm just trying to see how long I can survive. I've made it six days! Woo! I got an achievement. We've only just sent someone outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? First time, we were only asked to pick one unlock key. One brave volunteer to save the day. This time, you also get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear. Feed your troops, and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dark and dared to cross her path. Oh, excuse me. Timmy should eat something. Timmy has healed up. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world has gone to a crappy place. Do, 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 do. Anything can be useful outside, and some items even improve scavenging chances of survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With a suitcase, your explorer can carry more. Go ahead and pick something. Alright, so we're not going to send Timmy out because, you know, he, uh... We're going to give her a suitcase. And a map. There we go. Go be useful, lady. Day seven. Someone drew something right there. What is that? Empty first aid kit. We got one and a half, 1.75 cans. Ah, uh, the vent stopped moving. Oh, there it goes. Mary Jane, he's hungry and why are you hungry and tired again? Good morning, people. You're probably asking yourself one simple question: What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. If the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will. You can trust me on that. Your one chance is our boys arriving to rescue you. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the U.S. military and await a rescue. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it back safe and found. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. I'm going to save some supplies, but I'm going to give it to Timmy because he's hungry. No, 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 no. The rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture out to the waste. However, you also need to be careful. It might not be only our soldiers out there. There could be bandits, or worse, commies. Just imagine what will happen if the Reds discover you. So let's agree, and to the rules for this drill, you only open the door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks. Okay. I've made it eight days! Oh, she's back. And she doesn't look hurt. Alright, you'll need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you'll need to be prepared for. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing. And you'll need to make sure to make the most of it. Eat, drink, and relax. While thinking about all those commie... Yeah, folks who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That, all, that thought always gets me through the day. I'm sure glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. We spot an unknown group of people scavenging in our neighborhood. 
They had a lot of bags and backpacks. Too many, even. They were even really busy and didn't notice one of their backpacks went missing. A little help from us. Luckily, there were some cans inside. Oh, it's soup. I got a suitcase and soup. Our map really took a beating during our exposition and is nearly unusable now. Oh, lovely. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy should eat something. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Fast Wolfie! Thank you so much for that raid. I really do appreciate it. Yes, long time no see. How have you been? Doing good, doing good. I am playing 60 seconds, and I'm now down in the bunker. Um, trying to survive. I've made it eight days so far. <laughs> Haven't killed anyone in the bunker yet. Um, uh, Ted's not complaining today, at least not very much. Yeah, I've never played this game before. Alright. Well, he needs to eat, I think. Yeah, he needs to eat. Let's see. She's fine. He's fine. She's fine. He's hungry and tired. I should have never sent him on that expedition because he is having some major issues. You need like a double dose, dude. As long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make came back, came, bleh, may come back to bite you in the butt, even after a few days or weeks. Consider your options carefully. There is a, this is a drill, but if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. So this is only a drill, I'm already... I made it nine days! Do, do, do. Timmy is just tired. She's thirsty, thirsty. Yeah, they probably need some water now. Alright, day nine. If I were you, I'd check the door. Our extraction team might be coming for you any day now, but be careful. This is a post-apocalyptic scenario, and you never know what's coming. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. <laughs> if there's anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been. Written, Ted should drink something soon. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... There we go. Just give everyone some food. Why not? Someone's at the door. You can hear several knocks. If you listen closely, you can make out a sequence of three knocks. Do you open the door? No! They said two knocks. Only answer if it's two knocks. We don't answer for three knocks. Yes, I have. I'm actually almost at 450. Well, that's okay, but it's good to see that you were streaming. I hope your stream went very well. All right, let's see here. He's tired. She's fine. He's fine. She's fine. Day 10. Good call. That wasn't the knock you were waiting for. Caution at all times. Remember that. Be cautious. Supply yourself, and maybe you and your family will be just fine. Or at least most of you. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is hold handling the situation. She looks fine today. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Life is hard for all of us right now. But Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do some food. Why not? As you were count, counting imaginary sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke your concentration. Someone is really hammering on your door and probably not taking no for an answer. Two knocks, two knocks. The pattern keeps repeating. Do you open the door? Yes. They said two knocks. The end. Anyway, what? Good job! You're safe and sound when our brave soldiers, and now we can all have some apple pie. You deserve it. You can now go back to your lovely house and continue with your idyllic lives. If any atomic trouble comes your way, you know what to do and how to save yourself. I do hope it never comes to this, but if it does, good luck. See you when all of this blows over. We'll spend 11 day We spent 11 days in our shelter. Day 5, bus station. They ate stealing from thieves and successfully passed the drill. Yay! New update for... For what? Dead by Daylight? Mm. 
Yeah, um, I, I know that they updated it, and then my husband said he actually got another update last night, and so, but he wasn't sure why it updated twice for him, but I didn't see a second update, but mine, it could have been that it just, it auto-updated and I didn't realize it, but they, like, completely messed up the killers. Alright, so I finished the atomic drill, so the next one would be to try the apocalypse. This really looks like a game I would I would like. That was just a, I just saw a UFO just fly by. This game seems like right up my alley. The full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalyptic in your apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Oh wait a minute, what? You got little boy, fat man, czar bomba. Oh, I can choose who I want to be. I'm gonna be. Why not her? All right. All right. Let's see. Exploration time is 20 seconds. Scavenge time is 60 seconds. Stock shelter is prepper style. Holiday luggage sometimes trouble. Unwanted visitors few. Fragile equipment. It's sturdy. Rare health issues. Now we're just gonna go with normal. All right. So the other ones: is unwanted visitors, hordes, like glass health issues. Call nine one one. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Okay, I'm gonna just go with normal. Begin adventure. All right. I'm gonna remember. I gotta run around, find stuff, and these controls are wonky as ever. I kept running into everything. All right, yeah, I know how to I know how to do this, and let's let's go. Can can I please pick up the items? Oh, I gotta pick up people first. Come here, you. Let's pick up the family first. Come on, go go in there. Put them in there. Alright. Kiddo, where are you at? Come here. Hang on. Let's, let's, let's grab some stuff. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Okay, we need... Let's grab a suitcase. Grab some food. Suitcase, grab some stuff. Come on, grab it. Can you grab stuff, please? I don't know what that is, but grab it. It's not letting me pick up anything. No, no! I mean, I got like no food. Alright, Emo Spider. No problem. Uh, she was not picking up nothing. Wait a minute, where am I at? Did I? Oh. What? Oh, because. <laughs> I didn't get to the shelter. <laughs> I automatically failed. Oh, I didn't know I had to get my butt to the shelter. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's try that again. I threw my family down there with absolutely nothing. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so let's grab grab the kid. Grab the kid. Can you please grab your dang child? Thank you. I remember 
I can get my butt to the shelter too. Let's grab that. No, it's in my way. I can't get no food. Okay. I made it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, hush, Lucas. Alright, I don't think I grabbed any food, by the way. I got some weapons. I got an achievement. Family get. Alright, so I got a rifle and an axe. And I got ammunition. And I got, like, no food. Alright, all of us made it to the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. Time to ration supplies. Surviving down here is no walk in the parks. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be. Or else. We might face dangers we never dreamt of. Well, at least I made it down there this time. Alright, day two. Let's see. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Alright, we're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope that help comes soon. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared cross her path. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world has gone to a pretty place. Alright, day two. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Alright, should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Alright, Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Timmy seems quite in. Let's send Ted. Okay, can't click anything. We felt like something was star staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat at least, but it looks like a rat. A rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it. Or, to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. Okay. As we're running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. The question is, how did that devil fit through one of those little holes? It's always a little better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. If there's anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Alright. We are officially out of food. Yes. Okay. We're a regular family, so we have an occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope it doesn't last long. So yes, do an expedition for tomorrow. We need food. We're out of food. Alright, we're done fighting, but for how long? Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Nothing new to report on Timmy. If there's anything to report, blah, blah, blah. Calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. We got no supplies to ration. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface. Look for additional supplies. Maybe someone survived, something survived the blast. Maybe someone's still alive. Let's find out. We're going to send Ted. We're going to send him with an axe. I got an achievement. Prepper. I've made it five days. Woo. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this confined shelter? Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Dolores is fine and well as much as anyone can be. 
and Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. He took an axe with him. I have no supplies to give you, people. Sorry. Why are they going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects? Or worse, it's worse. They're spiders. And not some miniature ones, but huge, furry, very creepy beasts. We've got to do something about them. Oh, we ain't got nothing to do. Alright, we decided we can get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever are the body parts we can use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy's been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. I don't have no water. Yeah, I know. You guys need water. I don't have any. I don't have any. You're gonna have to deal with it. We wish you could just leave. Sitting down here, barely anything to do is driving us crazy. Lunar Deprived! Thank you so much for that follow. I do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Alright. You guys are gonna die. Hello again, Shark. How you doing? You know this game? I've never played... This is, this is my first time ever playing this game. Still, it's better than safe down here than dead up there. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna die. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner is still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had moments to decide what to do. Uh, use the gun? Um, I've only done the, uh, the drill. I'm doing the one now. Uh, Rec Toxic, thank you so much for that follow. I do appreciate it. That's okay, they're all about to die. <laughs> oh no, they're still alive. How are they still alive? A quick shot with a rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked us in the darkness. We never saw it again. Alright, yes, all of you guys need water. I have no water to give you. Excuse me. Yeah, he went on an expedition. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it or else. We might find ourselves in even more trouble. Yeah, well, you guys are about to die because you haven't had water in like five days now. <laughs> well, he came back with stuff. Oh, if we only had a few more drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. When Mary Jane found out she was not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland without shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this. And that she's getting her water one way or the other. We are seriously terrified right now. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in this far from normal and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Ah, Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We decided to finally check what we can find between the rubble in our own backyard. Our poor, poor lawns and flowers. Once the object of desire of the whole neighborhood, now reduced to nothing more than radioactive ashes covered by debris. There really isn't much left here. The only tree that was left was completely burnt out. In a hollow area inside the dead hus, some mutated three-tailed squirrels made their home. They're pretty good at con collecting stuff. Hope they don't mind us borrowing a few things. I got two soup cans. We use the barbecue here almost every weekend. The barbecue itself somehow found its way into a power line in front of our house, and it's unreachable. Our garden table is mostly destroyed under bits and pieces of charred wood. We found a few things that could prove useful. I got a harmonica. The garage still had two walls left, but most things inside are gone. Not even the bicycles made it through the blast. But weirdly enough, the baskets and installed on the top of them did. We found some leftover supplies there from our last bicycle trip. Ted's stomach is rumbling, he's gone crazy, and he's really tired. I'll give you some food. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk for, to our health right now. Yeah, no, we're not going to go anywhere. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from the radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? 
We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. I don't have a radio. Day 10! I made it to 10 days! He's tired, hungry, and crazy. <laughs> if there's one thing we need to do, it's use the radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcasts that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that, or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. First option sounds a bit more sane. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Eh, let's give him some food. You want some food. Uh, we're, 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 we're not gonna go on... Mm. Yeah, I've only got Ted now. <laughs> they wouldn't let me send anyone besides Ted. Alright, oh dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. He's got a sock pocket. <laughs> We can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard it's the best way to get to Europe. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Alright, shark. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Alright, we're gonna do that. And, you know, yeah, let's, let's why not. We'll, we'll go on a... Whatever. We'll go on an expedition. I'm about to die anyway. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on a door, but when we opened it, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep, and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Yeah. What do we got to lose? Well, what was inside? It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was all a lie. Either the water was irradiated, or it was some kind of biological weapon. It made us all feel pretty sick. Ted got sick. Now we'll use the first aid... Can we use the first aid kit? Oh, I haven't- wait a minute. Oh, I gotta click both! I've only been, like, giving them one or the other. Oh my gosh, I feel terrible now. Oh, I can't- I can't- I can't send anyone out. And he's all sick. His nose is running. Even his sock puppet looks sick. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Something should be done now about Ted's sickness. I tried to... I tried to give him first aid. Ted is in no condition to go outside. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today, it revealed a hole. We felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Yes. Day 14. We looked in the hole fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it, we gave the rat a proper barrel and an empty can. He deserved that much. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Nope, we're not doing exposition. Uh, we keep dreaming about the little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our, not on our heads, anyway. He's still alive? How is he still alive? Well, I'm out of food and water. Fun memories are the only thing. We need to be ready to harsh reality that waits us. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. Oh, you're almost out of food, dude. You're about to die soon. It's high time to stop wondering about, wondering about what's going on and start asking questions. Or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about... I don't have a radio! They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on? 
might not necessarily kill us. Well. You will, you, you're gonna die. Um, we can't keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can't, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part. Okay, you've already said this before. With the radio, I don't have a radio! Day 17. Uh, if there's one thing we need to do, it's use the radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. Tev Ted keeps coughing and coughing. Yes, yes, yes. It won't let me give him a med kit. No one's doing that. Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us to create beautiful sounds to be shaped in the world around us, to sing and play, to have cute mutated animals come out to our feet and listen. Like a post-apocalyptic Snow White, shall we? Yeah, why not? You look terrible, dude. God, I can't believe he's still alive. His nose is all red now. Hey, he looks like he's happier, maybe? Oh, wait a minute. We got some... Yuck, a mut mutant cockroach. We got some cockroaches in here? Lovely. Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks in our walls and started moving to the rhythm of the song. They ran around in circles and shook their little antennae. That would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. What are we supposed to do with them now? Ted has rested. Ted's condition is not the best, but we could take the risk. Well, you're gonna have to leave. A uh, sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered a simple one time deal. For just one can of soup, we can get the bag and all its contents. We can't see what's inside. The trader gives us angry glances every time we try to take a step towards the mysterious. Yeah, no. I probably don't have one. Well, I, I, don't, I don't, because it was, would be hanging on the wall. Over here, on the side. Alright. Our grandparents always told us, never buy anything on anything sight unseen, and we're not about to start now. Gone are the times of the yard sales. We can manage without the, whatever junk is in the mysterious bag. Uh, Ted seems to be losing it. <laughs> oh, he's got food! It's soup! It's liquid! And we're gonna take... Why can't he take more items? That's just... We're gonna take the axe. <laughs> Alright, we don't remember having a collection of skulls hanging around on the remains of our white fence, but it didn't seem that suspicious. We got a bit worried when someone started shooting at us. We realized something is profoundly wrong when a bound of half-naked crazed raiders jumped out of the ruins and chased us away. Tough luck. We spent 23 days in our shelter. That's funny. <laughs> I was driven away! It's because I left. I shouldn't have left, but he was gonna die anyway. That's so funny. Okay, so I definitely need to make sure I collect more food stuff. Alright, let's see here. So I've tried the apocalypse. Let's try the scavenge. Oh, no one's... Oh, this is just the scavenging. Okay. Well, let's try it. Let's see what this mode is. Yes, yes, yes. Can 
Can I please start collecting people? Get out of my way. Everything's in my way. Oh my gosh, get through the door. Come here, kiddo. Where is, like, the other kid? I can't, I, oh, I got a gas mask. Alright, other kid's gonna, like, die. Nope. I left the other kid. <laughs> okay, so this is just pure collect. Okay. No, that's kind of interesting. Where I guess that's one way you can practice. Um... All right. Safe for now. <laughs> Soup. I guess it's one way just to practice, like, collecting stuff. The controls are so wonky. They really are. Alright, and then you have... Survival. Alright, experience one of a kind post-apocalyptic adventure. Survive on your fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Let's do it with, like, hard mode. Since I don't have to collect the stuff, they're gonna randomly give me stuff. Oh, I got two people. What's this? Bug spray, got a gas mask, got water, got an axe, I got a radio. Okay. Alright, Timmy is safe, and that's what matters. We barely got out here in time ourselves. We had no idea what happened to Mary... Jane and Ted, maybe they're okay. Our shelves are full of cans, we'll eat from cans, blah blah blah. Barely enough water for everyone, we'll have to ration it strictly. I'm gonna and give them some supplies. Hang on. Okay, they got supplies. Keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day. There weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyway. Point peak. Alright, who knows? Maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and won't be that bad. Timmy's good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Dolores is quite calm. Situation. Give them some food. And I can't send Dolores, so I'm going to have to send Timmy. Alright, the trash can of ours is getting disgusting. Good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet, yeah, for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are pretty good motivator. We'll use some bug spray. That was close. Enough of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out of this wasteland. Out into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches. Yikes. Timmy's good. Well, at least he was four minutes ago. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in good mood today. We we'll hope it stays this way. Alright, so we're going to take them. You're going to take the axe with you. I guess I should have given the gas mask. I didn't even think about that. Alright, Timmy went out to the wasteland. Alright, if there's anything to report about Dolores, it's where it be. Uh, you'll be okay a day without food and water. Some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time all those tax taxes had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? Shall we head out to get them? Yes. Oh, my gas mask is ruined. We went out to get supplies and our gas mask is a bit damaged. 
No taken. Don't stand under a supply drop crate when it's falling out of the sky. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that would definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans. For a minute, we thought it was canned meat, but then we found it, it was tomato soup. Our theory is that the whole country used to run on tomatoes and no one suspected a thing. Everything seems okay. Nice, okay, you can get some food and water. I don't have any cards. We always steered away from casinos, gambling, dens, and the like, so when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed two water bottles, bet, and a card game of our choice. And I don't have anything. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We've seen her rob somebody. Yeah, because that's so much better. Send the men away. Good riddance. If there's anything to report... Okay, there's nothing to report. He's still not back. She can have some food. Um, everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. This happened after we drank that delicious wine for support a few weeks back. It would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. Let's see if the radio has to tell us. Everyone okay? Let's hope so. We need to make a proper inspection. That was one nasty earthquake. We never used to get such bad ones before. All this because of the atoms? Definitely the atoms. No one should mess with atoms. No one. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Hope it stays this way. Hopefully the kiddo comes back soon with some with eyes. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. We'll have to leave eventually. It'd be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble. If that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come rescue us and take us so, so, uh, to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics back those. So you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Radio! Radio is always, is like, all important. Good news! The government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area to announce... The announcer asked everyone to listen and wait while a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is a good mood. Hope it stays this way. How about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? It'd be so good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a boat ride, even if the whole place is turned into Adamville. When is the kiddo coming back? He should be, yep, he's back. Hopefully it's time to leave will come soon. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We were about to give up and come back. We were about to give up and come back empty handed to the shelter when we ran into a church. It looked peaceful enough, save for an unexploded atomic bomb stuck up to the church tower. A sizable group of people were busy praying for the bomb praying to the bomb, chanting something about the holy fission. It sounded really crazy, but those people seemed friendly enough. Those nice people gave us some canned soup, and they say they don't like the taste of it. Now we're certain they're nut jobs. Holtus decided they won't be needing any holy water. We did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full water bottles. One of the beds of the surviving church quarters was filled with quite a few treasures, namely a flashlight and a collection of books about evolution. We took the flashlight. Timmy should eat something. Timmy's really tired. Is there anything to report about Dolores? Where have you written? Nice. Ring ring. There we were, thinking we would never heard a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone from booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Sure, why not? Send the kid to go answer the phone. It's probably a bad idea. Oh, he's still alive. When we answered the phone, we could clearly ha hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they'll get back to us. So afraid for Timmy, came back, safe with us. Timmy's diet needs food, and today or never. Life is hard for all of us right now, but the good and good. Everyone gets food and water. Contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging conditions can result in radiation sickness. Sending Timmy out out of the question. 
Uh, no, we're gonna skip expedition. We shumble, stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat licking its paws nonchalantly, surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We can now hear its paws impatiently scratching our hat. Should we let it inside? Uh, no. I'm sorry, but a dismembered limbs? As in, like... Humans? No, it's like some crazy creature. What it is, gonna kill us all. Let's see what it has to say about that cat. We don't need any more miles to feed. Also, cats can't be trusted, especially in these troubled times. We ignored the scratching and everything was quiet last night. We guess the creature went away. Alright, food, water, enjoy. Uh, going listen now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. If Timmy goes out right now, he might die. Um. Nah, we can skip another day. Patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. We're about to step out. A pair of animal eyes flash in the darkness and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Flashlight. We decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It has, still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it'll come back later. Can we eat something? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's food. Food. You go on expedition. Yeah, we're gonna go. One minute it was all fine, the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves. We're going to survive. Let's sleep on it. Now everyone's all mad and angry at each other. Can barely sleep after all the arguing. Hope it never happens again. Alright, food, water, go. She's gonna go outside. Take the axe with you for protection. Alrighty. Dolores on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Keep dreaming about those little things. Okay, yeah, you guys keep repeating the same things. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup. No, sir. I don't have anything. We decided we can get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could. Unfortunately, we underestimated their chances. They're really fast. We achieved getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Ooh, I hope she comes back with stuff soon. Barking at our doorstep, we can only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. Not caring for hazards in the wasteland, we rushed to open it, and there he was. The poor thing seems tired and starving. Should we share some more food with him? I don't have enough food to share. Last thing we're going to do is feed strays, and we're barely enough to keep ourselves alive. None of us are very happy about it, but that's how it is. Nothing new to report. We're officially out of food. Army's on the radio again. They said to be scouting the neighborhood and need to find clear signs of survivors that are still alive. We were asked to leave a few cars at the nearest bus stop to mark how many people occupied our shelter. We should get going. Ah, uh, I don't have any cards. Oh, she's back. Alright, we missed our chance to let the military know where we are. It's a good bet they will be back again, but when will that be? Glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Our need for entertainment took us to the local cinema. A portion of the theater is still standing, including at least one cinema hall. We went in, hoping to scavenge something, or at least find some film posters. 
When we recognized the sign of the food stand sticking from between, uh, from between the rubble, we were hoping to find some popcorn. There was none, but the tomato soup dispenser is still working. Yay. Alright, so the cinema had a strict policy of not bringing your own drinks in the movie theater. Seems like somebody broke the rule a little. We found a lot of bottles in the last row of the hall. Some were even full. The only thing left in the ticket booth was the door with a padlock on it. The security here must have been questionable. Someone forgot to take the key out. Timmy's good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Really love to eat something. She is really tired. Alright, sending the lawyers out is a death sentence. Alright, it's high time to stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions. At least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about turning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Yes. Radio station. And we got Oh, we got a padlock so we can lock ourselves in. Alrighty. Day 19. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. We should be much safer to travel on the surface now. No news is good news. Nothing going on with Toby. Oh, excuse me, my yawn. So, Lars would really love to eat something. I gave you food yesterday, woman. Eat some more. Found an ominous note next to our shelter door. Whoever wrote it requests that we send one representative to a meeting tonight to a set location. That person must come unarmed. It's a bit worry us, but the author assures us that he or she is friendly and doesn't mean to harm us. Are we going to send someone to check it out? Welcome back. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll send Timmy. Send the kid. Hopefully he comes back. I got an achievement. Survivalist. Day 20. It's true. It's all true. There really are others just like this. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time, and we were greeted by a friendly-looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother and a sister. We seem to be friendly enough. They asked us some questions, promised to stay in touch. We were so afraid for Timmy. He came back. Blah, blah, blah. He's on his best behavior. How long will it last? She has not eaten for a while. Uh, she has eaten. I've been giving them food every day. Well, somebody's got to go out. Difficult to keep track of time down here, but at least we remembered it's Timmy's birthday today. He's growing so fast. We should get him something every boy wants for his birthday. I don't have anything to give you for your birthday, dude. Uh, JW, thank you so much for that follow. I do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty, I've made it over 21 days. Time to grow up, Timmy. This ain't Kansas anymore. Santa doesn't exist. Like a good scout he is, Timmy is making the best of the situation. Even seems cheerful. Dolores is quite calm, giving the situation. Let's give him some food. I'm out of food officially. Alright, so. Time to visit service. Look, oh, I can't send any of them outside. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Despite the dire circumstances, all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is being very brave. Alright, you guys will survive. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. This is exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? They might provide some quality entertainment. Eh, sure, why not? Why not? So we had those weird people over, and they were more than kind. They gave us first aid kit, and we spent a lovely afternoon together dancing and singing. Then they left. Alright. Awesome. Alright, so we're gonna give you guys some water. Can't send anyone outside yet. Unfortunately. Hey, I've made it past... I've, I've survived 23 days, and now I'm on the 24th day. Woo! Alright. Timmy's being very brave. Everyone's doing good. You guys gonna skip stuff supplies today?
Sending Death Horse. No, they're not going to let me send anyone out. Alright. They won't let me send anyone out. They're going to die. Trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in thus far is normal. Never get used to it. We hope help comes soon. Everyone's tired. Yeah, why not? Use a glass of the water. Nobody can go outside. You guys are gonna die anyway. Cause I can't send anyone outside. Timmy is rested. Dolores is rested. I have no supplies. Oh, but I can send them out tomorrow. Okay, we thought we should do something about our interior decoration. Feng Shui is really off on our fall of shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. Please be more supplies. We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay, well, eh, it was worth a try to look. I have no supplies. Send you out with the flashlight. Oh, now there's something on the radio. Alright, Timmy went out. I have nothing to give you, lady. The army's on the radio again. They said they'll be scouting the neighborhood and need to find. Oh, gosh dang it. Again with the cards. I don't have cards. Alright, Mr. Chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You haven't eaten or drunk. I have no supplies for you, lady. A uh, friendly group of survivors we met a lot long ago in today with a request. The group is planning to build a small settlement for themselves, but a lot of them were injured during a recent fight against the bandits. They need everybody up and running in order to work quickly and efficiently. They're asking for some medical supplies they can use to fend off. The ah, sure, why not? I'm gonna die anyway. Give them the supply. Maybe they'll give me food and water. Well, my gas mask is all damaged. We're very grateful for help. We sure they pull, put that first aid kit to good use. It's nice to be able to help others from time to time. Maybe they will let us visit their camp when it's finished. Maybe they'll even throw a housewarming party. That would be delightful. We haven't attended one of those in too long. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't give you anything, lady. Alright, it's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they're unforeseen by definition, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Can't say we're prepared for what happened. And she dies. <laughs> oh. What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camp near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. If only I had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores has died of dehydration. Of all the places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. It's about 31 days! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did it with the random. <laughs> that was that was kind of fun. That was really fun. I like this game. This, this game is a lot of fun. Okay, so what's challenge? I've already looked at the other ones. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay, what is this? Collect the items from members. Listen below. Make a raid of shelter before time runs out. Oh! Okay. Uh, Clippo, thank you so much for that follow. I do appreciate it. Okay, so you get stuff for these. Adventure hat. That's kind of cool. And you get, like, babushka. Okay. A spooky costume. Alright, these are these are kinda cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try one. Alright, so I need four rifles, four ammunition, and the family members. I like how it has a lot 
of different little things. Okay, so. Pick up the wife, thank you. Be stored for up to 737 years. I'm doing good. I failed the challenge. I didn't, I was only missing the ammo. I was missing the ammo. Those are kind of interesting. Those are kind of fun. But I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing well. This game is actually a lot of fun. I like it. I really do. Alrighty. And I would love to continue playing this game. This game is, is a lot of fun. I definitely highly recommend it. It's called 60 Seconds. Oh no, he's not playing anymore. I'm about to go raid somebody I haven't played with, raided before, but they're not even online. What's up with that? I clicked on them and they just went offline. Goodness, they've been going for a long time. Alrighty. <laughs> Showing you my godly hag. Yeah, we all know that it's not that godly. Trust me. Alright, so we're going to. Hopefully, there's still. Yeah. Alright, so we're actually going to go raid. I do appreciate all you guys for hanging out with me, um, but I do need to get going because I have to pick up the kiddo from school. But this game is a lot of fun. It's just called 60 Seconds, um, and it's free, so it's it doesn't even cost anything. At least I think this is one of the free ones, but it's a lot of fun. It really is. But we're going to go get Manny Harlem. Uh, he is playing. Yeah, unfortunately, I got to I gotta leave so I can uh, go pick up the kid up from school. But we're going to go raid Manny Harlem. Um, he's playing uh, Dead by Daylight on PC, I believe. But he's really upbeat. Just awesome guy. He's just hilarious. But I really do appreciate all of you guys for hanging out with me. Um, so... We're going to go raid Manny and show him the love. And let's go get him. 